Do the gold dance. Okay, that, that'll work. Kind of sorry, but that'll work. Big money. KT6 says big money. Earring. That's how you got back here so fast. You used your Dumbo powers and flew here. <laughs> to notice it. His eyeballs suck. I got a dollar. <laughs> Seriously, have you ever tried surfing on that coil yet? pretty good this last couple days. The high tide, the surf, the storm tore up this thing pretty good. So we'll give it a whirl and see what we can find today. Tony's here. Tony Eisenhower. He's back up there at the car. So we're gonna see what we can do here. Hopefully we find something good. Alright? Talk to you in a bit. Well, I was moving along kind of fast so I wasn't doing much taping. But I've pulled up about four quarters couple dimes, pennies, and uh, just got a dime right here, so I ran out of that hole, but uh, yeah, see they've already got the bulldozer out here fixing it all, screwing it all up, anyway, a lot of targets along here, I'll go, go back the other way now, well, I found a few more quarters, a couple pennies, another dime, and now I got a nickel, now I got a nickel. A lot of change line along here. That's not, nothing else though. A lot of bottle caps and crap all getting washed down. So I'll keep going and hopefully I find something other than change, but at least I'm finding change. All right, on to the next. Well, I just dug a nickel in that hole. And I got another target here. I dug a lot of change so far. But uh, nothing great. And as usual, now there's a bottle cap. I've got the camera running. I think a bottle cap. Anyway, got a nickel out of that hole. A lot of change. I don't know. But I think it's a penny. Big old fat blob penny. Oh, where'd it go? I lost it. Ah, there it is. Yeah, all the stuff came off. And now it's just a penny. Oh well. Well, here's Mike with his new toy. His Tony Eisenhower special. Well, what do you think? Outweighs that by tons, huh? Couldn't believe it. Really, I'm surprised, man. You used my ring already? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh, you ready? I'll take it back yeah, now. That'll, that'll save me the trouble. Here. So now you're not responsible for losing my my biggin. Anyway, this is Mike, and he got his new X Cal. I'm gonna do a walk around. It's exactly like Tony's, the setup and everything. So he's a happy camper. 
Really light, easy to use all day long. All day long. Anyway. Yeah. And look who I found. Mr. Tony. Garbage, man. I got a lot of quarters and a uh, oh, uh, seal. Change back down, and I went that towards the bathroom in front of the cut. Oh, yeah. Got about three bucks and change already. Wow, not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna go back down that way and just start gritting along as far as I can get because I think there's a lot of. Well, I ain't got too much down at that other end back that direction. I'm gonna come back down here. I was getting targets down here, so. With all that sand that moved out of the way. I just dug a dime. Uh, well, the wave covered up the hole. Another dime. Another dime. Little dime, I'll take it. I got about probably four bucks and change already. Most of it was from down there, so I'm gonna head back down that way. There's gotta be some jewelry out there that washed down or something. Tony has a bracelet and a funky looking earring. So you got a little bit of jewelry so far. Not me. I got nada. Just change. So. Well, I just dug a dime back in that hole. So we'll see what this is. Probably a bottle cap now that I got the camera turned on. Nope, it's a coin. I can see the edge of it right there, I think. Yep, quarter. Not a quarter. Big money. KT6 says big money. Okay. I'll take it. Well, I got one scoop off of this and it's sounding better. So I thought I'd turn the camera on. Hopefully it's something. And it's not. It's a bobby pin. Actually sounds kind of like a bottle cap to me. a quarter sounded off nice and loud. Usually sounds like bottle cap sound like that. Uh, they're getting a few targets along here, a couple quarters, pennies, junk, tent stake. See it now. I got a nickel. I got another nickel. <laughs> All right, well, still finding change along here. I've been gridding back and forth. Well, I've been digging a ton of change back there. I just didn't have the camera on. It's all been just change. But I just dug this up and I thought I found gold. But it says on the back that same thing as that one pendant I found, JCM, but this one says 925. So, it's that same company, JCM, whatever that is. And it's got something bigger, other word written underneath it, but uh, I can't read it. It's like Woodlawn or something, I don't know. Maybe that's what this little character guy is. I don't know, well, it's silver. Oh, yeah, and I found this little cruddy ass ring. Little piece of junk, brass showing through. Anyway, I'm about to get wet. All right, well, on to the next. Okay, here's Mikey with his first time out with his new heater, his Tony Eisenhower special. And he's like Pete, he buries it down in all the crap. 
Well, here, first off, give me the gold dance. I want the gold dance. You can't show it to me without the gold dance. Come on. Come on. Then I'm gonna put. I'm not gonna put it on. No, no. You got to do it right. You're making this video way too long. I know you're a player. You know how to dance. All right. Five, four, three, two. Ooh, shit. Nice, dude. Nice clasp and everything. Nice chain. Marked and everything. Well, now, now do the gold dance. Okay, that, that'll work. Kind of sorry, but that'll work. Mexico Tenke. The chain. Mexico Tenke. The Virgin Mary, she footing K. Different color golds. Rose gold, white gold, yellow gold. Yeah, and so these things right here, these things. Well, there's Mikey's first gold. That is your first gold ever, right? Yeah, no. First gold with you, yeah. Okay, first gold with the beach machine. What do you think about that, sports fans? Now he's got to say, he's got to love this hobby. He, can't, he was clearing out the other end of the pier and he sure got back here fast. You were flying, right? These headphones, man. My ears were four years. Killing? Yeah. Oh, well, that's because you got big bat ears. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it's all the better. That's how you got back here so fast. You used your Dumbo powers and flew here. <laughs> well, congratulations, buddy. I got a little... 925 earring. Woohoo! Oh, here's another one. And I get bobby pins, I can tell you that right away. That's a freaking bobby pin. So you're over here dancing too, huh? kids ring. Good for you. You carpet bomb that too. You got a lot of change? A lot of change? Yeah, I got a lot. That's all I got. It's a pot full of change. But, uh, for everybody else. That's not a bad day for you. A little silver, a little Yeah, it's so tiny. It's like the little fathead guy from the, it looks, to me, it looks like the little football shaped guy from, uh, family, Family Guy or whatever, oh, that yeah. cartoon. That's what it looks like. I'm so glad Michael found something cool. Like that, just, that just makes my day. Hey, he's sitting right up there. Or he was. He's over there. He's got his camera right by the tree. Well, I don't know. My camera was acting weird, so I hope I got that ring. But I got a real faint signal here. Tide's coming in. So every time I put a scoop in, I get nailed. I think 
I got a nickel. I got a dime. I got a dime. I got a dime. All right, well, keep going. I must have 30 dimes. Well, I'm working my way back to the car, so if uh, I find anything, I'll give you a look at it. And if I don't, well, then this is the parting shot of this beach. We all found a little bit of gold. Mike over there, he quit because he found gold. Tony got a gold ring, so he's back there. And me, I got the half and halfer. 925-10K. And I don't know if the camera was working. It was acting all goofy at the moment. So, I don't know if you saw it or not. But anyway, I got a little bit of gold. All right. See you at the wrap up. Later. Well, everyone, it never fails. I was, uh, I knew the camera was acting weird when I dug this ring because it said 17 and then when I got done, after I was all done doing everything, it said 17 again. And I, it showed about two seconds and shut off. So what I dug was, I don't know if you can see it. Get it out here in the light maybe. It's a, uh, it says 10 carat and 925. Got a little stone in it. But uh, not bad, but great. A little bit of 10 carat in it. So that was what the camera screwed up on. And I know it did it because when it said 17 still, and I'd already got done digging it when I looked at the camera, still had 17 on it. So anyway, there was my good find for the day. But we all found a little piece of gold, so cool. Anyway, on to get something to eat and on to the wrap up. Hello everybody. Well, this is the wrap up from today's hunt down at Newport with uh, Tony and Mike. Glad they could uh, come along. Glad Tony could make it up and go out and find some stuff and he did pretty good. Um, here's what I got. I had 51 pennies. Pile of pennies there. Uh, this penny I wanted to show you, it's almost worn. Let me put this on. Thing's almost worn smooth, and it's a 1978, I think. I think that's what it was. And uh, it's so thin, it's just almost wore out, but it's still got detail on it. And in that 51 pennies, I've had one weedy I didn't know I had. Not that it's any good, it's a 58. So as Kurt from the Hoover Boys would say, weedy. I had one, oh, come on camera, I had a set of keys, one wasted car, it is crusted up, but it was way down there too, the thing was down a long way. This little piece of jewelry that's wasted, it's so corroded I'm not even going to bother. Um, I had ten nickels, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I had six dollars and fifty cents in quarters, and I had thirty-one dimes. Thirty-one dimes in a pile. The other stuff I had, I had this little kitty's ring. It's nothing great. Little stones in it. Just a little kid's ring. See the copper showing through right there. So it's just caca. I had this little thing and I thought it was that egghead or that football shaped guy, but it ends up being, it's Dora the Explorer, I think, by looking at that. But it's a little earring that's gold colored, but on the back it says, I don't know if this thing will focus that fine down. It says JMC925 and then it's got some other word like Woodlawn or something written right across the front of the top of the post. But that's a little 925 earring. And then this ring I dug, and naturally, my camera freaked out. It said 17, which is the, the number of clips I've already recorded. It said 17 when I pushed the camera to start recording. 
I went all through the thing, digging this up, walking around, going, oh, gee, looking at it, reading it, whatever. And when I got done turning the camera off, when I got to the next dig, I looked and it still said 17. So I missed this whole thing. And the camera still acted up. That's why I didn't get anything at the end with Tony and Mike when we were leaving because it screwed up again. But anyway, this ring is got some a simulant on it. To put my diamond tester on, it moved up, but it went up into the simulant. And then there's one diamond on each side that you could, or two diamonds on each side that you can barely see. And all those things going down the side are just those little knobbies that look like diamonds or just metal that they make look like diamonds. But in here it says 925, 14K, I mean 10K. And on the other side it just says AV with a copyright mark. AV copyright mark. Anyway, I think it's sterling, I mean it's 925 silver and those little bars right there coming up on each side are the 10K part of it. So cool ring, I'll take it little bit of gold better than uh, none at all so at least we all had a little piece of gold Mikey was the winner with that nice chain that thing was sweet and using his new machine it was great anyway um, had a good time glad those guys could come up uh, hopefully I get to do it again before D-Day which is next Wednesday so till then good luck happy hunting thanks for watching see you later bye